Hi, I'm Brian Bartell. And I'm Dale Basler. We're co-hosts of Lab Out Loud. And we're here in Boston covering the NSTA conference. Let's take a look. I'm Deborah Irvin. I am teaching in Sherman, Texas. I live in Oklahoma. I teach fifth grade math and science. Science is my love though. I just left two excellent workshops today, just sessions that were just the best I've been to out of all of the NSTAs that I've been to so far. Um, they're found in the southwestern United States, so they're a desert hunting hawk. spectra biz. It's, uh, it, it can be used for absorption spectrum such as chemistry or biology or you can use it for emission spectrum such as a, a hydrogen a spectrum tube or a light emitting diode or something, Planck's constant. Diana Kloskowski from New Britain, Connecticut. I'm a seventh grade science teacher at Lewis P. Slade Middle School. It's overwhelming. There's so much to look at. There's so much going on. It's, I, I could pick from anything to go see. So it has a little bit of everything. So I, I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> I've uh, just been walking around the floor and held a Australian walking stick. Uh, Nick Spahalski, Chicago, Illinois, seventh grade teacher at Clara Barton Elementary. My name is Jessica Farwell. I teach at Pioneer Valley Performing Arts Charter Public School in South Hadley and I teach 7-8 science. I went to two really awesome workshops already um, and I've met some really great people. I came away with already a giant sack full of stuff and I'm about to enter this contest which I'm really excited about. My name is Mike Haritos and I teach at uh, Boston Latin School. I teach here at Science. Okay. What I want to talk to you about is that as teachers, what can you do to try and avoid getting in the situation that the folks in Dover got into? What can you do to help protect yourself when you're working in the science classroom? Um, and how can you help your own state uh, stay on the right path? 